Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm uh, has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. Our viewing audience has asked us, what legally makes a parent unfit for the purposes of custody? Well, it's a very good question because, as you know, the focus of the law is not so much on the parents as it is on what's in the best interest of the child. But in determining that, there are factors that the statute sets forth, the court has to use those factors, and they do kind of go to the unfitness of the parents. Let me give you an example. Um, one factor has to do with the uh, suitability of the, of the home. So if, if there's a proposed home environment, like the permanency of the home, and, and, and one of the parents, for example, uh, doesn't have a home, is living out of a van down by the river, uh, is a person who uh, uh, in the last uh, two years has lived in eight places. That is an issue um, that goes to uh, the fitness of the parent because it goes to stability. And how can that p a parent expect to give stability to the child if he or she's constantly being evicted, constantly moving? So that's something that might render that parent unfit. Similarly, um, amongst the statutes, you have the moral fitness of the parties. If one of the parents is involved in activities that goes to their moral fitness, that's something that clearly the court could use to evaluate to disqualify a parent. Um, and, and you know, they're, they're obviously if somebody's involved in drug use or, or, or some kind of thing, uh, uh, felonious activity, these are the types of things that could disqualify a parent because they uh, dovetail into what's in the best interest of the child. So as between two parents, for example, who are similarly situated, except one is a drug addict and an alcoholic and one is not, so clearly in that situation the court might say, well, you know, it's not in the best interest of the child to be with that a parent who has those challenges. Not about judging the fitness of that parent so much as it is about judging whether or not the best interests of the child are served if the child's with that parent. If you have any questions about that, of course, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.